Hello again. Welcome to this quick video, hopefully. I know that some people think my videos are probably a bit too long, and I babble quite a lot, but I can't help it, it's the way I am. So I'm going to try and make this one quicker. To the point, this video is based around console commands, um, specifically the console variable editor. Um, and basically what this is, is a little window that allows you to save presets, didn't mean to do that, um, I'll fix that in a minute, uh, that allows you to save presets for your console commands. So you know that like you can see up here in the left we've got this texture streaming pool budget, um, what would you call it, uh, warning, that kind of comes up every time usually when you start the engine unless you have it set in your um, config files uh, and what I mean by this if you don't have a clue what I'm talking about usually to get rid of some of these errors or edit kind of settings project settings you would use things called console commands and this is by hitting the tilde key uh, which is above the tab key on the left of your keyboard and this allows you to start typing in console commands um, the one to get rid of text streaming pool is um, r dot streaming dot pool size space zero kind of you know that's like a temporary fix for this I've not entered it because um, I want to keep the command up there. Actually I can show you this time around. Uh, r.streaming dot pool size zero and then that will basically max out your memory allocation. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into that. Basically every time you start the project up that will likely come back as long as you haven't put it into your config file which is a file in the back end sort of, of the engine but there is a way that you can kind of set a preset kind of page of console variables and you can kind of just click one button and they will all be entered so the first thing we need to do is go to our plugins plugins uh, window which is edit plugins and then search for console and we will see here we have the console variable editor beta save load and control console variables from this panel using slate so basically we just have to hit that and it will give you a little warning saying it's in beta uh, hit yes and then you have to restart the editor now this will take a little while because my project is fairly chunky and it's loading on the other page my other window so you probably can't see it and here we are it's opened us back up and you can see I've already got it there so ignore that because that won't be the same for you uh, I'm going to quickly open up my other map. This is just my kind of messing around with sculpting test page, uh, test level. A lot smaller than the other one. This one's a four kilometer test map. And the other one that I'm loading is a 30 kilometer map. A lot bigger but I am ambitious. Um, I've basically just been playing around here with kind of foliage colors and whatnot. Okay, so we've got this load in. Almost, there we go. And we've got our error here. So, well not error, I keep saying error, it's a warning. Basically, in order to get the console variable window, we go to the Windows button up the, top, up the top, and then we hit this console variables, which has been added after enabling the plugin. And you can see here, this is kind of what we get base settings. And um, 
these settings, these these console variables, are essentially based around your um, your scalability settings. So if you were to change all of these, or if you were to set it to low, medium, high, or whatever, uh, you would see a very different set of commands. So sometimes this window can be quite good as a way of seeing what um, console commands are kind of set into the config for these scalability groups. Um, I'll allow you to explore that because I don't need to go doing that. I just want to show you how to make your own ones. So let's just say you, you know, a set like this. I have a preset already that I'm but I'm going to make another one just so you can see. So basically, you hit this little console variable, and as an example, I'm going to add the texture streaming pool related console command. So r dot, <clears throat> excuse me, <sighs> need a burp. Okay, r dot streaming dot pool size zero. So you can see that that activated and it's added to the list. So that's sweet. So now what we would want to do is save a new preset. So save as, choose where we want it. Uh, shared assets, whatever, you know what I mean? Wherever you want it. I'm just going to put it in levels and call it uh, tutorial preset underscore one. There it is. So now, when we look at our preset list, we have the one I already made, and then we have our tutorial preset one. So now, every time you open up the project, uh, you can basically go to this window, click on that, and it will swap it to that, and it will instantly do run through the whole list. Um, and that's it. That's literally it. So hopefully that helps it's a cool little way of kind of just you know adding them um, you can see the kind of the source you can change the values and yeah it allows you to kind of just mess around with it hope that helps uh, trying to be quick under 10 minutes and yes there you go